Okay, we're still working on our layout here, and I'm going to try and talk you through how we we set up uh, the line weight for for a drawing. Now, this is the kind of second component of of setting up a layout, and once you get your head around this, it's it's really quite logical, and it allows you to change the whole look of a drawing just by changing layer colours. You're not having to remember which lines are, are supposed to be which. It's all done with colour. Now, if we do a print preview just now, what we'll find is that everything is still in color. So let's let's go to let's go to plot. Okay, so just type in plot if you haven't got it if you don't get it through the drop down on your layout tab and click on preview. Okay, is that, well, that's not going to be much use as a drawing, is it? Cuz most of it's in yellow and yeah, you know, I can't. There's no differentiation between, you know, structure and the walls. They're, all the lines have got the same thickness, apart from the line that we forced to have a different thickness. So, you know, it might be able to use it. The yellow is going to be basically invisible. We need we need something that helps us control the line weight. So let's escape the the plot preview, and cancel it. Okay, I mentioned a file called a CTB file. And we've got that sitting here in our project folder. Okay, black and color CTB. This is just an intro CTB that you could use and adapt for your own use. Okay, now AutoCAD needs to know where this is living. On a standard Windows PC, when you when you when you install AutoCAD, uh, you'll find that in your control panel, which I just called up here there is a thing called the Autodesk Plot Style Manager. And all this is is a link to a folder on your machine where AutoCAD has dropped some pen settings files for you to get running with. Now, if you're happy with that location, fine. But usually in an office situation, what they will do is redirect all the machines to pick up their pen settings files from a specific place on a server so that people can share them and if there's a change made, then it, it helps. It's only needed to be changed once. It works for everybody. Okay, if I just double click that, you'll see here some pen settings files. We've got CTBs and a couple of STBs as well. That's a, just a slightly more complicated version of what we're going to, I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to close that folder and close the control panel. Okay, so. Bear in mind, our CTB file, the one we want to use, is sitting in the course folder. Now let's tell AutoCAD where it is, so it knows to how to where to find it. So we've used this already, the Options button. So the red letter A, Options, go to Files, and then the ninth one down is Printer Support File Path. Then fifth, fourth one down again, expand that. And you see here that the software is looking to that plot styles folder. Okay, let's change it. So we click on the link there, click on the path, then browse. And the folder is on my desktop. It is AutoCAD course. Okay, it's not offering me anything else because that's fine. It can just go to there apply and OK. Right, so we've told AutoCAD where to find our pen settings file. Now I'm just going to bring over onto the screen a, a PDF with a with a kind of a with a table on it. Okay. Now the idea between for the idea for this is that a color on screen, let's take red for instance, the red color on screen should end up with black lines on paper and as it does that it can be allocated a specific pen thickness yellow will also print black but it will have a slightly thicker line 0.25 millimeters then there's a little set of green cyan and blue which are all 0.1 and then we've got the magenta color that one's coming out at 0.6 millimeters 
and white slightly thinner at 0.45. Then I'm using colors 8 and 9 which are dark grey and light grey also to use black when they print but be thin again. So we have quite a number of very thin pens and then just three that are getting a bit thicker. After color 9 everything prints with its own color which, called, which is termed object color. Okay so red this is the color 10 right the way to 255 which is virtually white all print in the color that they they show up with and have a thin pen attached to them okay there is a logic to this and that is that the brighter the color the thicker the pen so we've got red blue they're fairly dull when you see them on screen they get thin pens the information on those layers shouldn't be as important as something that's white. So for things like structure and the main cladding elements of a building for instance in a plan they're going to print out with thicker lines which they should do because they're more important information. Whereas a flooring pattern you might choose the blue for that layer knowing that it's going to print out in a very thin pen and it's not overtaking the drawing when you look at the drawing in AutoCAD. So the, the impression you get when you look at an AutoCAD, in, an AutoCAD drawing in model space, it should give you a clue as to how the drawing should end up on paper. So the logic is the brighter the color, or the gar more garish the color, like this magenta, the thicker the pen that gets allocated to that. Okay, I'll just move this out of the way. So have a look at model space again and see what I mean. When we click onto model space, we see the brighter colors, the white is used for the main structure, so we've got these concrete cladding panels and concrete columns, and then the yellow is the, is the slightly less important information which is the partitions and doors and the dividers, and then lower order information like the window sills here and the stairs are getting the slightly darker colors. So the hierarchy works down from structural through to non-important information like the furniture layout. Okay, back to paper space. So we've told, we've told AutoCAD where to find our pen settings file but we haven't told the layout to use it. So you right click A3 PDF tab, Page Setup Manager, Modify and when we click the drop down list here this should have been looking to the to the folder with our drawing in. So I'm just going to reinforce that. It doesn't seem to have, have clicked in. Sometimes does that. So let's just go through the options again. Just make sure it is doing what we want it to do. So we go to options, printer support file path. Okay. It's looking in the right place. It just I think it's just needing to kick up the backside. So let's just browse again, just make sure it's there. OK, apply, OK. Let's right click the Layout tab, Page Setup Manager, Modify, hopefully this time, that's better. Does that, I don't know why, just needed another a second kick to make it look at the right folder. So because we only have one CTB in there, there's only one showing up. Okay, now there is a tick below that that says display plot styles. Now, most people don't have this ticked on. Um, if you put the tick on, I'll see, show you what happens, okay? Click OK and close. And can you see now that the drawing is showing in its kind of final state, but it, it isn't actually showing the line weights. We only get to see the line weights in the print preview. So really showing the plot styles here is, is not really that how much help. Better to actually switch that back off. So page setup manager, modify, take the tick off here and rely instead on your print preview. So let's click on print preview and you'll see it looking much more interesting. All right, when we zoom in now, we start to see the pen settings coming to play. Okay, white is getting thick lines. We've got yellow here 
that is a bit thinner, it's about half the width, so it's 0.45, 0.25. Move over to the piece of furniture, this is 0.1 millimeters. Doesn't look that much different between between those two, but there is. Okay, and you can see probably see it more pronounced here on the one to five hundred. Okay, so it's using the same pen weights. It doesn't. You don't have a different pen weights between scales of viewports. Okay, but we can see the stairs and the the window sills and the likes are much thinner lines. Color 10, which is what we used for the areas layer, that's printing in red. That will end up printing in red. So if we were printing to a color printer, we'll get a strong red outline around the room, which is what you'd want, maybe around a site layout, uh, a site boundary, for instance. So you can see then that if we just change the color of a layer, it will affect the, the preview. So let's just escape that. So right click and exit, just show you what I mean. We needed an OK here because we did make a little change. So we OK that and close. And let's change the color of a layer. So we've got the uh, structure for level six. Oh, let's change external panels. That will that will work better. Let's make the external panels layer color blue. OK. And then what should happen in the print preview is that these lines and now will now be thinner than the yellow lines. So let's preview that again. We can go to plot and preview. And there you see, without having to go through the whole drawing, looking for all sorts of items, we've changed the look of the drawing completely. The concrete panels on the outside now are using a thin line. They're thinner than the internal partitions. Okay, so very quickly you can influence the, the final look of a drawing just by changing layer colors. And that's why people have adopted this so, so readily. It works very logically. So right click and exit. Cancel the block preview and I'll better change my layer back before I forget. So I click on the color of the layer, put it back to white, which is black as well, and okay. And then everything should be back to normal. So that's the CTB file. That's how that works. Now you can retune that if you want. You want if you want to change it, you can. So if you, in your page setup manager, so you right click the layout tab, go to page setup manager, and modify. This button here allows you to edit the CTB file. So it just shows it in a slightly different format. Okay, so you can see here that when I click on colors one through to nine, this stays black. When I get to color 10, it says use object color. So it will print red, it will print pink, it will print dark red. Okay, so if I wanted another even thicker pen, so let's say color four was going to be a ridiculously thick pen. Okay, let's make it two millimeters thick. Okay, so bear in mind my window sills are a color four. Okay, save and close. And let's preview that, and we should get some stupidly thick window sills. There we have it. So it's very quick, very quick way of affecting the overall look of a drawing. We either change layer colors or we tweak a CTB file. It's very, very simple to do. And it caught on very quickly and it's been adopted pretty much globally. So let's edit that to put it back the way it was. Color 4 had a pen, pen width of 0.1. So there is a bit thinner. You could go a bit thinner if you wanted to, if you want to make things look finer. OK, save and close and OK. And then close. Right, on our preview, if we right click and plot and preview, you can see here that things aren't that comfortable. I've got a fair bit of space at the top here, but only a narrow gap between the two bits of the drawing. 
And so this is why we use paper space as well, that we can we can tweak the, the, the appearance of the drawing, we can move things around with, with no damage to anything else. So if I exit that and cancel and all I need to do is just move so M return pick the viewport and return base point anywhere and the the, le the viewport can hang over the edge of the sheet because it doesn't plot anyway okay I can give this a bit more space make it a bit more comfortable maybe bring this down a smidge okay and then I recheck my preview that's looking better I've got a you know a kind of a consistent space around that it looks much more comfortable this isn't so crammed into the corner either looks much tidier okay you press escape and you can cancel the preview okay I think we'll stop this one there because we'll I'd like to go on to a slightly smaller topic uh, and let it sit on its own